Hi, my name's Kate. I am a high school math teacher in the summer before my 19th year of teaching. Today I'm kicking off classroom setup part five. I know it's been a lot of setup. Um, moving classrooms has been a little bit crazy this year. So if you haven't watched my other four parts, make sure you guys do that. Um, I'll leave, hopefully if I remember, a link to the uh, cards up here to that playlist so you guys can check those out. Um, but today, so my room is for the most part organized. Now I'm going to work on the actual like decorating. So that's kind of my plan today. I don't know how long I'm going to stay around. We'll see what I can get done. Um, I'll probably combine this with at least one other day just to, you know, give you guys a little bit of something. But as of the recording of this, I start school, a teacher starts school in um, less than a week. And on, so today is Tuesday. So we start the follow up next Monday and kids start a week from tomorrow. So by the time you guys see this video, I'll have already started school. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting decorated. All right, so here is my bulletin board, at least for the start of the year. I thought this was a good, you know, the struggle's real, but it is when real learning happens. I feel like that's a great message to start out the year with my juniors and seniors in, in these college level classes because, you know, I'm gonna expect a little bit more for them and encourage them. You guys are gonna struggle and that's okay. So that's what I got for right now. Um, so this one came from, Got this rise over run so if this is one that you're interested in it comes with all of these and it does come with um other stuff that you can turn it into an activity with your students it's not something that i have done maybe i'll look into that this year but i will leave a link for this in the description below if you're interested in grabbing um, this bulletin board set i'll also leave a link for this paper and for the border that i got paper and the border i got off of amazon and the bulletin board itself rise over run on a tpt so i'll leave all of that stuff in the description below so i only have that one really small bulletin board uh, which makes me sad because i've got all of these things plus this crate is all full of different um you know seasonal bulletin board things and i do have some other good like back to school so it's a good day to do math i definitely could put this on my door itself so i'm thinking maybe i could do that i do have oh i can't remember i normally i print the cover so that i can see them that way when i get to something like this i remember what it is um but there is this other one that's like uh, the different types of learners so i may put this up someplace as well i'm thinking maybe up on my cupboards up there i do have an empty wall i have lots of empty walls so maybe i'll do this on an empty wall so i need to kind of lay out all of the different like back to school type ones that i have i have this one um math and this one is from crafty math teacher and it says amazing math work coming soon I think I used this at the start of our school last year. So I could put this one up. So I really just need to see, you know, there's different, you know, a cup of pep talk. This one's from Callie Danielle. So I've got a lot of different ones that I could definitely put up and start and kind of make the room a little bit brighter. So I need to kind of lay out and see what exactly I have and what I want to put up and what will stick to these walls. I think that's going to be the most important thing. What can I get to stick to the walls? Um, and maybe I will use some more of my better than paper to create another fake bulletin board. And then I can easily just, if I can staple that into the wall, then I can easily just use tape to tape everything on to that better than paper bulletin paper because that tape sometimes it pulls a little bit of the plastic coating off of it but for the most part um, I've been using it for a couple of years and the tape seems to work well so I'm going to just kind of evaluate what I got see what I think and go from there so I 
got a little distracted um, from my bulletin board stuff and I sort of, okay, this is nowhere near set up, but I did bring fabric, so I got that ironed real quick just to, you know, make my little table over here look a little fancier. So this fabric that I have on here is fabric that I bought when I lived in Hawaii. Never really done anything with it, so I thought that was perfect. I did print a few other bulletin board um, things that I would like to hang up, but I need to laminate them. So once I get those, one, um, they're both super cute, one I'm super excited about, I'll be able to have up all year. Um, so one of the bulletin boards that I did find, it says, let's, let's calculate, and then there's a big calculator, TI calculator, that says the best year ever. So I thought that I could put that on. This is a second door that I have in my room. That's really as far as I got. Um, yeah, got distracted because I went and got my computer and needed to get that all set up and then printed those few things and then got distracted in my desk area. So really didn't accomplish as much as I wanted today, but honestly, just having that up makes me really happy because at least there's something on the wall now. And I'm going to figure out, I'm definitely gonna put something on these cupboards here and I'm gonna put something, where are they? There we go, on those cupboards over there, just to cover them up a little bit. They're kind of an ugly color, so just make them look a little bit brighter. Um, I would also, let me flip the camera around. I would love to maybe find a way to turn this into that bulletin board, or maybe I've got this huge empty wall right here. The only issue is there are these, like strips on here. They're not really useful since half of the stuff is missing from them. So maybe I can take that one down and turn that into a little makeshift bulletin board. That way I can still put things up. All right, I'm back the next day. I bought a few things. So I bought two more of these stair light drawers so I can set them, where are they? There we go, on top of that. That way I have enough for all three classes that I'm teaching. I also have inside this box, I've got a bunch of Lego flowers that I'm going to put on hopefully this shelf here and maybe the bookcase here. Just kind of, you know, make it a little bit extra. I do have another two sets of Lego flowers in the math science office there, so I may put one um, in here as well. So we're gonna see, just kind of get that stuff set up. I also have um, some stuff to laminate, so I'm gonna get that done too. I'm super excited to share with you guys in this video um, one of the new things that I got. I have a new laminator from QFun Laminator, and QFun reached out to me this summer asking if I would be interested in trying out one of their laminators and, you know, just giving my honest opinion about it. So, um, you know, finally back in the classroom, ready to laminate things. Now, I will say that I have never owned a personal laminator before, and I've never really felt the need to have one because my old school, we had a laminator, we had access to it really whenever. Um, this new school, we do have a laminator. However, teachers don't laminate. We send things down and then the student assistants in the media center do the laminating. So, which is fine most of the time. However, like especially right now with back to school and trying to get things set up and I've got all this stuff that I want to laminate and I'm like, I don't really want to wait until probably the second or third week of school to get things laminated. I want this stuff up now. So I'm excited. So let me show you guys it is super cute. Look at it. It's super tiny. It's really lightweight purple. Oh my gosh. So cute. Um, so I'm excited to try this. I've never used a personal laminator before, so um, we're going to do this together. So let's go ahead. I've got um, some posters that I printed yesterday and a few other things that I want to laminate so that I can get my room a little bit more decorated. They do also have laminating pouches, but they were out of stock. So I just ordered some of the Amazon basic ones. Not really, again, not knowing anything about them. I just picked something and it seemed like, you know, a lot of people bought those, a lot of really good reviews. So we're gonna give it a try. Okay, just wanted to show you guys that when I opened this initially, I was like, oh, okay. And then I realized that this is actually a little um, paper cutter. And then underneath that, there are all of these other little tools. So there's a couple of little rings here. There is what looks like a quarter rounder and a hole punch. So that was an unexpected little uh, surprise. All of these different tools that come right along with us. So that's really exciting. So 
so I laminated one already. Super easy, like ridiculously easy. Um, so I am testing out whether, you know, I know a lot of us are team cut first, cut, laminate, cut, and then there are others that are team laminate, cut. So that's gonna be my other check is just to see whether it works with the laminate first and then cut or whether it's better if I cut things out first and then laminate and then recut them again. So that's what we're gonna test next. So let's go ahead and laminate this one. So I've got them both laminated. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out and then just kind of get a good idea of which way is better. That way I know how I can finish up the fun at calculator posters and then this um, goose project that I have. Okay, so I've got both of them cut out now and really there is no difference. Like the laminate and then cut, so I cut right onto that paper and you, like there's no peeling back. I know sometimes when you use like the school laminators, it's not quite as good, if, especially if it's not warm enough, um, but it does not seem like it would pull apart, which is amazing. I love that. Um, a lot of times for posters and stuff, I do like to have, I'm weird, I know. Um, I do like to have that, you know, little bit of a laminating border, which is why I love this like super cheap paper cutter because I know exactly where to line up the paper so that I get the perfect laminating border around the entire thing, yes crazy. I gotcha. I feel ya. I know I get made fun of by all of my teacher friends all the time for this, but that's, that's just me. So yeah, this is, I'm excited to play more with this, uh, this laminator. I will leave a link for this in the description below. Um, it is an affiliate link. Um, if you guys are not familiar, affiliate links don't cost the buyer anything extra. It's the same price whether you click on the affiliate link or whether you don't. It just gives us that post the affiliate link, just a little bit of a kickback. And any affiliate links in any of my video descriptions, the money that I make from those, that just goes right back into my classroom so that I can buy things like more laminating pouches at this point since, you know, I can see myself laminating way more often now that I have access to my own and I don't have to wait. So um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in this, they do have it in several different colors. Um, they have, I wanna say like a silver, a black, I would have to look, um, but yeah, click on that link. You guys can see them all. The purple is just absolutely a great color um, and why not? Super light, uh, so excited about the tools that come with it. It's gonna be really nice. I did use the corner rounder when I cut this one um, and then yeah. So I'm gonna keep laminating. taking a quick break from decorating because I forgot that I have all of my old files still in my previous classroom. So what I have are a bunch of just these hanging files separated by each class period and then by semester. And these are just the old tests and quizzes that I've given my students. So I'm just gonna keep the last year's um, first semester and then second semester in those drawers and then this year I'll put first semester in the top second semester in the second one so the way that I have them organized let me flip it around and show you guys so I have it sectioned off so there's my g3 class and I have just this is the first unit that we did the quizzes and tests second unit quizzes and tests and so on and so everything for my g3 class is here and then the same with my g4 my b2 b3 b4 and then my g1 is in the back yes out of order only because last year i taught this in a different classroom so i kept these in a different classroom and then rather than re doing all of those it's just sitting in the back and it's gonna be fine so what i realized as i was talking to you guys is that i only actually have two of the um the metal brackets that allow the hanging files to actually hang in a file cabinet why that's not standard maybe it is now and these are just super old but i don't know why it's not standard so what I think I'm gonna do is <laughs> take out all of those hanging files again, put that rack up in the top so that I can uh, like really use this year's. And I'm only just keeping last year's stuff just in case there's a question. I mean, I feel like at this point I had mostly seniors so there really shouldn't be questions, but I also had juniors so I figure if I keep them through the end of this year, they have done, gone, graduated, whatever, and then I can get rid of those. So maybe I'll be able to scrounge up two of the, more of those in the future, that would be great. Um, otherwise, yeah, I only have two and 
that's really what makes the file cabinets hanging files work well. So I'm gonna move that up so that I can use it with this year's and then go from there. And then hopefully get back to decorating, right? Cause that's the most fun part. I will say I'm really sad because I had um, one of the things that I laminated, I brought it home to finish and I forgot it at home. I even had it set out with all my stuff and then I walked away without it. So kind of bummed that I can't get that part set up, but that's fine. We're gonna get as much as I can done today. I just made this little makeshift bulletin board. Yes, it's a little wrinkly there. It's gonna be fine. Um, I'm gonna wait. I just have the border up with push pins right now because I'm not entirely sure that it's straight. So I'm gonna bring in a level tomorrow. Much harder to do when you don't actually have the bulletin board, but I figured this will help, you know, take up some space in the room. And um, yeah, so I've got that and moving on to a different project. just got the labels put on my new sets of drawers that I had bought and do I care that they printed bigger than the ones previous today no eventually maybe only because um, I will be putting this next week on this empty spot and then down there where it says Monday I'll also be putting next week so those will definitely be bigger um, but you know that's gonna be a future me problem that's gonna do it for my classroom setup series. I know I probably still have a little bit left to go and I may do some more, but I'll probably add that to my first days of school video. I'm planning on doing a vlog style video for maybe the first two teacher work days. So you'll see probably a little bit more classroom setup there. Um, and then, you know, my first day of school. So I may do a little bit more than just depending on how much. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this series. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in following along more in my journey as I teach, please subscribe. I do upload videos every Friday, but you can hit that notification bell and be notified the next time a video goes live. I hope you guys have a mathy day. Bye.